Upon learning that the girl was hungry, the judge made a shocking ruling. Upon learning that the girl was hungry, the judge made a shocking ruling. Thousands of people know Frank Caprio, as the impassive judge from the Caught in Providence TV show he studied law at night school while working as a teacher and was appointed a lawyer in 1965. Twenty years later, he became chief judge of the Providence Municipal Court. Apparently he's been popular with the city council since then, as they've re-elected him six times. It wasn't until 2000, however, that they started filming a TV show in his courtroom and Caprio became even more widely known, not least for his unpredictable but fair decisions. The show features real people and real court cases, and, while some may consider him, the star of the show Caprio doesn't see his role as frivolous. I'm not here on the court to be an entertainer. My primary role is to do justice. He says, however, that hasn't stopped YouTube videos of some of the judges' cases from going viral and one such episode attracted a special amount of public attention. It featured a woman who appeared in court with two daughters in her arms. The woman found herself in front of Judge Caprio after authorities fined her for parking on the sidewalk. She was issued a 100 fine which she did not pay. When the woman arrived at court, Caprio seemed more interested in talking to her six-year-old daughter Janice. Therefore, he called the girl to the podium to learn more about her. He asked her what her favorite subjects at school were, and she replied that they were math and English Caprio went on to ask Janice what she wanted to be when she grew up and when she told him she wanted to be a teacher. He was ecstatic. It is wonderful, that's a great job. That way you can help other people improve their lives right. He said, however, that day Cabrio wanted Janice to help him in a different way. He wanted her to help him judge her mother, fairly and honestly, and fortunately the smart girl accepted his proposal. After giving the floor to her mother Caprio asked the defendant. If she had an explanation. I went to my cousin's house to pick up some things. He was having a party and I didn't want anyone to hit my car, so I parked on the sidewalk the woman said, Judge Cabrillo then gave Janice two options. She could charge her mom all the late fees, which would have amounted to 300, or she could waive the fines and have her mom pay. The original 100 fine. But then Cabrillo revealed a third option. He could do something good for Janice's mom, for example. He could lower the fine to $50 or, if Janice thought it'd be fair, he could drop the charges altogether and her mom would get away without paying a dime. In response to his question, Janice decided that the fairest option would be to charge her mother $50. However, Caprio decided to change the subject. For a moment. He asked Janice what she had for breakfast that morning and her answer seemed to touch him. Janice explained that she hadn't eaten anything before arriving at the courthouse and was very hungry. Then Judge Caprio decided to make a deal with the girl's mom. He said that if the woman agreed to buy her children breakfast after leaving court, then he would drop the case. Faced with another option, Janice agreed that breakfast was the best option and, after giving Judge, Caprio a big hug, she walked out of the courtroom with her family without paying a cent. Perhaps, unsurprisingly, the touching decision proved popular with viewers. Soon, the video began to spread on the internet. Moreover, those who watched the video spoke with enthusiasm about Judge Caprio and his ruling calling him the fairest judge in the comments. Undoubtedly the girl's mother broke the rules, but being able to make a ruling in good conscience is so important. Caprio understood that by collecting the fine he would virtually be taking food out of the mouths of these children. It was clear that it wasn't easy for the woman to provide for her two kids. His actions prove that even people in positions of power can have the softest hearts and it is not always possible to act within the framework of the law, since, in fact, the situations can be very different and a lot depends on the specific circumstances. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.